Yo, what's going on, Sock George? It's your boy Ross here. I want to give a big shout out to all the boys, by the way, who have got their notifications turned on for me. The little bell next to the subscribe button. If that bell has been clicked and it is ringing, that means you get notifications for my videos and you can get here early and watch my stuff. So, big shout out to everybody that has taken the time to do that and like cares that much to do it. Today, we're going to be doing another Meta Mancer, and this is full AP mid. Blitzcrank. And we're against Syndra. Now, I have done this in the past. I've done this Blitzcrank build in the past. It is a little bit hit or miss, in all honesty. Um, just because it kind of depends who you're playing against. It kind of depends who you're winning against. For instance, a character like Syndra, she can really, really, really bully me quite a lot. What? Actual eat my ass. But yeah, shit like this, she can bully me really hard. Uh, and there's not a whole tremendous amount I can do about it. I do have my passive, which gives me 50% of my current mana as a shield, which... Currently, is only about 100 mana, which kind of sucks, but it, it could be life-saving. We'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, basically, if I actually want to be able to beat the Syndra, I need to be able to, like, get hooks into towers, which I'm really not getting currently. There is way too many enemy minions. Uh, I'm going to have to play as safe as possible until maybe York decides to gank. Or, I guess, until Syndra makes a mistake, but I'm not entirely sure how likely that's going to be. Syndra is really, really annoying. But I'm going to do my best. We're going to be leveling up our Q first. Just so the cooldown gets reduced as well. Because that is the only spell that apart from my ulti. That actually scales with AP. So. That's the mistake we're looking for. That Oh that was a mistake. I don't know why I flashed there. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Even after all that. She still didn't die. That's a surprise. I cannot fucking see this with this character though. I'll say one thing man. Is at all attacks are really 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 slow. And that's the kind of a. Uh, that's a bit of a gutter. But she has back now, so I'm going to actually take this time to try and uh, get, like, a couple CS. Cool, right, we got a couple CS. We've now caught up to Syndra. Time to back. Time to, uh, I don't know. I don't really think there's much I can honestly get. I guess I'm just going to get a, a Sapphire Crystal or something. Something that will give me a little bit more mana so that when my passive does get popped, it's, uh... It's going to be a little bit more than it normally would be. Um, so yeah, let's we'll see. Let's we'll see what happens. It's, this lane is really, really strange. If you have a half-decent team, though, it can be it can be pretty fun. It can be interesting. There is no guarantees I'm going to do well, though. I think, though, it should be pretty easy to get an S rank on Blitzcrank, right? Because, like, the way, obviously, the uh, S ranks work and the way the ranking in League of Legends works is that it puts you and it places you next to other people uh, who are playing the same character. And it... it detects like the average score for that character uh, and gives you a score based on how many kills and how many assists and how many stuff like that you get okay so she's not very smart if I could just back off and chill she's gonna she must be she must be really scared of me now oh fuck oh fuck she's been really really aggressive despite the fact that she's already tw twice now been pulled into terrors I cannot CS under this terror though. This is like really, really bad. Alright. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Okay, sorry. I had to like concentrate there, man. I'm sorry. I cannot CS, man. I've managed to get one CS since I've been back. That's just so lame. I should be able to CS a lot easier now that Syndra's not in the goddamn lane, but this is actually such a pain in the ass, especially under tower. When I get my ulti, things will be easier, but until that moment comes, life isn't going to be fun. And I've got to fight against my ulti as well, man. I've got to fight against that shit, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to randomly spark down and hit for like 100 damage each time onto random minions, which may or may not help me or like screw up my ability to actually get a CS. I am actually going to try and go to top lane. They maybe haven't seen me. They haven't seen me yet. I don't. Well, they, they will see me, but I don't know if they'll tell Ramus. If whether they tell Ramus or whether they don't is a completely different thing. So let's see. Push it up. Push it up. Here we are. There we go. And let's just walk out. <laughs> that was a good gang. Not too bad at all. I'm com I'm confused, man. Wait, hold on. Let me show you guys. I'm getting reported. I'm not quite sure what for. What for. Did the Riven die? Hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know she died. Gralus, we are, we're doing okay, man. This is going way better than my last game, actually. I know you're going to think, all right, Ross, your, your CS is horrible. How could this possibly be going better than your last game? I was against a Victor last game, dude. 
it was it was not fun. There we go. Those uh, sparks are actually helping me get my CS a little bit under tower, like a little bit easier. So that's good. Right, Syndra is missing right now, so we ought to be a little bit careful. I really not. I don't like the random element that comes down with uh, with the 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 ulti. It can be really difficult to either time it or tell which, like, oof. It can be difficult to tell which one's going to get sparked. So it's like, having to fight against that is just makes things impossible sometimes. But yeah, we're doing okay. Not the CS I'd exactly want to have at this point in the game. But yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Well, it is bad, but I've got two kills, so. Makes it a little bit better, maybe. <laughs> right, we got Yorick potentially coming in to help me as well here. So what I can do... I don't want to risk wasting my uh, wasting my hook, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to run up, silence, knock up, pull, ignite, that's a kill. I'm going to just make sure we get that kill. There we go, we picked up the kill. Yorick died as well though, but we still got the kill. Which means more time for me to be able to like CS a little bit more. But yeah, I think I was saying a little bit earlier, I kind of got a little bit distracted because we're fine, but... The way that they, the ranking system works in League is that obviously it puts you up against people playing the same character. Blitzcrank's obviously a majorly support, like primarily a support character. So not a lot of people play him as like a damage dealer, which does, it just ends up meaning that, uh, I just did so much damage to her by the way, like holy crap. Uh, it means that even if you get like a couple of kills and, and a bit more, even a little bit of CS, you are far higher than the average kind of uh, Blitzcrank player. All right, I got my spell shoot. Oh, oh, she has ulti up again. Oh no way! What's the cooldown? That's like fucking same cooldown as my ulti, man. Holy crap! Um, but yeah, even if, but yeah, even if you get like a little bit of kills, it ends up giving you like an S rank just because nobody really gets a lot of kills on Blitz or gets a lot of CS. So yeah, it kind of works out that way. So I wouldn't be surprised if even if I didn't do tremendously well this game, but I got kills that I would end up getting an S rank. So. Maybe, even if I lose, don't take it as like, oh, Ross is really good because he got an S. Like, the last couple of games that i played, I've been, I've been getting solid S ranks. And I've been really, really happy with them. But this one might not be exactly the same thing, right? But yeah, that was like really unlucky, man. I missed a hook. I just got... The thing with my W is, especially if I'm going in, if I'm going in on something like this. Hold on, I think I may be able to catch him. Is that as soon as that goes down, like you, I just get slowed so, so horribly. And it can really end up being not worth using it in a fight. Because if I don't manage to bring Syndra down fast enough. If I don't manage to bring down Syndra fast enough, it can mean that... Oh, crap. Is he going to be... Oh, no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. <laughs> if I don't bring down Syndra fast enough, I get slowed really, really badly. And that just makes my life a living hell. I'm like, I basically, I'm unable to move really at all. I'm unable to kite Syndra. I'm unable to like counteract any of like, I can't, I can't juke her for shit basically, man. I don't even know why he's saying that. He's literally so pissed off because I took a kill earlier. He said he was going to int feed and I was like, okay, well, feel free. But you know, you're kind of ruining the game for other people. <laughs> and he's like, no, you're, I want you to die to cancer. That's like, that's really cute, dude. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to stay mid and, like, get kills, man. So we're going to get that. And is there anything else we can really pick up here that would help us? I think I'm not. I think I'm just going to keep it. We're not that far off of the Rod of Ages, but we unfortunately aren't quite there yet. So we're going to go back mid lane. Our tower has fallen, unfortunately, as well. But, you know, there wasn't a tremendous amount I could do. I had to go back. It was either that or just get ulted by her and die anyway. So I'll take the, uh, I'll take the living any day of the week, especially when I'm trying to get, like, a decent enough score here. I really should be able to CS a little bit easier. My ult is on such a, a, a low cooldown. It's really not very high at all, so I can I can use it to farm if I want to. I know a lot of people back in the older days, like back in like the early seasons, I used to I used to use my ult to farm. It didn't matter what champion it was, I used to like see if I was playing Rumble in like season two or something, I would use my ult to like farm farm lanes. <laughs> if it was like a big lane, I'd be like Rumble ult right down, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, oh, okay. That's Reverend Dead. Wait, hold on, boys. Are you ready? Are you ready for the Flame Arena? Are you ready for the ultimate Flame Arena? Guys, watch the chat. Wait, watch above my head. Wait, watch this. ISS way late on that. <laughs> this guy is so tilted, man. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fucking hell. 
Drop the bands, man. Oh, dear. We do have enough for a Rod of Ages now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this wave as much as possible. And then we're going to go back. We're going to get Rod of Ages because we want it the earlier we can get it. Like, the earliest we can get it is when we want it. Otherwise, like, it's not really going to get, like, much use out of it. And now, obviously, a, a lot of you guys are probably thinking, like, okay, maybe this isn't going to be, like, the highest AP build we can go. Um, we won't be doing a shitload of damage on our Q and our ulti. Those are the only two spells that stack, that uh, scale with AP. Obviously, our early on game, like, won't be tremendously strong. But if we can, like, get through a little bit, the mana that we get from both the rods and from our... Uh, Tier of the Goddess will give us like really, really, really big shields, which can make up for the fact that like we don't necessarily have a lot of resistances and we, we don't necessarily have like we kind of have to face check people, you know? Like, if I, if I want to guarantee that I can actually hit Syndra with something, I kind of have to like walk up in her face and like punch her in the nuts ever so slightly. And that can obviously be kind of kind of difficult to do when like you know I'm I'm, I'm playing a melee character so. A little bit of a shield is like can definitely go a long way to helping me actually manage to hit some skills. Cause like even though I'm maxing the uh, the rocket grab, the cooldown is still pretty damn long, man. So it's it's I'd, I'd much rather we got that kill, sweet. This is a. Uh... This is Revan means, man. <laughs> the Revan has now got. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh my god, man! Is this guy? Is this guy Revan mean? I don't even know. Wow. Interesting. Well, guys, I need to get some more CS, man. This game isn't exactly going. I I don't know. Blitzcrank mid is a very strange beast. It's like it's fun, and to a certain degree, I feel like the old Blitzcrank was way better mid than this the new iteration, where like his W slows the shit out of him. I just don't like it. Makes things way 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 more difficult to like to deal with. Just not a whole lot of fun, if I'm honest. And this isn't just like mid Blitzcrank I'm talking about, just like Blitzcrank in general. I guess people thought that that was a little bit too overpowered to have him be able to like maintain speed for quite a lot of time. But I feel like the, the slow is like really uh, not, uh, it's like a little bit unfair. I mean, you can mess up, like it doesn't matter how fast you go, you can still mess up and you can still like lose a lot as a Blitzcrank player just by not hitting hooks. Like the speed helps a little bit, but that's mostly just to get you closer to like ulti to actually guarantee those knockups and stuff and guarantee those hooks. So, alright, my team has quite literally opened mid at this point. And this is a fucking feels bad, man. This is the kind of thing I've been talking about, man. People, people don't want to, uh. Oh, I, I missed that as well. People don't like. I, I don't really get a huge chance to like show off some of the build. I actually like this game though, um, in terms of like. It was okay in the early game. It's a little bit difficult to like deal with some stuff. And also I kinda wanna upload it, it's like a bit of a fuck you to the ribbon player, so how did I miss that? Like really? If it's really like I can't move! How can I not move? What? What the fuck? Oh, okay. oh well boys. That really doesn't like do a lot for me in terms of like uh giving a good or bad name to ribbon players. Like you know? There's like this, like apparently, no, I don't know exactly. I'm not like a, I'm not a scientist here. But I did hear that the highest quit rate for any champion in League of Legends is Riven. Don't know how true that is exactly, but doesn't exactly. What the fuck? I can't hit any hooks right now, man. But I don't know if that's true. But apparently, the highest quit rate for Riven is apparently. Uh, that is what it is, and like. Fuck me, I can't move, man. I just cannot fucking move. And I'm, in, I'm inclined to believe that, man. The amount of Riven players I see that are just so toxic, man. I guess, like, maybe it's just, like... Maybe it's just because I think that toxic Riven players are primarily toxic. And they, so, like, when I do see one, I'm like... Ah, yeah, typical. Typical, but... Nah, I don't know, man. 
Yasuo, Revan, and Bane players seem to be like the top three for me. Oh uh, well. It was an okay game. We, we did kind of get like some fun ganks, but it, did, it ended so prematurely. Like, we didn't really get a chance. Revan left and was an asshole. And Blitzcrank mid isn't the greatest build in the world, but I guess it depends who you're up against. Like, I got bullied pretty hard. I've played some other games with Blitzcrank mid. I got bullied really hard. It doesn't really seem like a great pick. I would not recommend playing him unless you have a good team that are actually willing to camp mid. Because, like, if he gets camped, he's really good. Like, I got a couple of ganks. And I knew that if I just got a couple ganks to help me get those hooks off, I could do shit with the damage. And I could, we could easily burst down mid laner, but it was like getting the person there. But regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry that I didn't get a crazy good game. I have played Blitzcrank a good few times, though, and I just cannot get like that perfect game, though. So hopefully this one will do. We didn't get any close calls, though. But can I get a like for the fucking Riven Rage quit? Because it's, the tears are beautiful. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy.